Hi, I'm Lisa Marie, and welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of my craft room and show you the utter mess that it started out as and how much more organized and functional it is now. I mean, it'll never be perfect, but it's so much better and I can't wait to share it with you and I hope it helps you to organize yours. Let's get started. Starting with one of the first versions of my craft desk, it's just a MDF board covered in contact paper with a cabinet underneath. You can see it's very bowed. And then I've got lots of supplies underneath. And then the wall to the right of me had a bunch of plastic Dollar Tree planters that I just filled up with flowers and literally hung on the wall. Very primitive. Then I had a couple of couches in there. One's a futon, one's a fold-out couch with a bed. And I just had stuff everywhere. They were like cabinets, but they were not. They were couches. This was supposed to be an extra bedroom. And there's the other couch. And then here's me putting things in the middle of the floor because I just don't know where to put them. It's just a, a pretty average sized bedroom. And I put one of the MDF boards over the top of the arms of the couch and created a shelf when I got my Cricut for Christmas. Christmas. That kind of worked. And of course the dogs made it their home. They loved laying there. They even got a blanket and they were thrilled to death. You can see I had wood on the floor behind the door. I mean it's just not organized. And then I had some more flowers hanging on the wall. I had things hanging on the closets, which I still do, but really nothing made sense. There was really no kind of plan or rhyme or reason to it. Today's video is part of a craft room tour playlist, and this was brought together by Heidi Sambel from Heidi Sambel Home and Leonep from Beauty on Purpose at Home. Both Heidi and Leonep are extremely talented crafters. In addition, both of these ladies have other channels. Put all their channel links below, and there'll be a playlist, and you can see everybody's craft room at different stages, different sizes. It's going to be super fun to watch. I hope my channel is a fun place where you can come to be inspired to create something. I'd love it if you click the red subscribe button and turned on the notification bell. That way you'll always be notified when I have a new video ready for you to watch. I do all different decor styles on my channel and there's something for everyone. If you like what you see, be sure to hit the like button and leave me a comment. We are one big crafty family here. Now the task of getting everything organized. So I basically had to just put everything in the middle. I got rid of the two couches. I actually took the table out of the room that was my desk and a friend gave me another one which hadn't arrived at this point. Getting containers and different things. I also had a friend moving who gave me a ton of stuff, which was what I needed, right? More things in this small room. I'm also going to be assembling my flowers into a basket, actually a three basket bin that I'll show you more about later. And there's the table that's gonna come out of this room and I'm gonna have a real desk going forward. That used to be my sewing table from years and years ago. And I'm always running somebody's video who's trying to get monetized, so you always see that going on in the background in my craft room. My dogs, of course, under the desk and everything. I'm just trying to sort through it and figure out what do I have? What are like things? I'm trying to put like things together and things that I you know, would be reaching for all the time closer to where I'm gonna be. I did assemble these two shelves from Target. I got quite a few of them. I have some taller ones and some shorter ones. And ultimately, I do wanna get those little you know, box bins that go in there to kind of cover it up. My only fear is that I will think that I don't have something anymore that I do and then I'll go buy it. So I'm gonna have to try to put a little inventory together or label the boxes so that I have a good sense of what's in there. And again, more stuff. Just trying to figure it all out. Sometimes you just gotta pull it all out and look at it so you know what you're going to do with it. Now I've assembled one of those smaller shelves and I'm setting it up almost like a cricket station, if you will. And so that little section right there is good to go. Got everything I need in there. And now I'm gonna start building up my little flower tower. Sorry, this is a little blurry, but it's this three basket stand for vegetables. And I'm gonna start sorting my flowers by types and then I'm gonna hang them and they're gonna just stay up in that corner so it'll be decorative and functional, which makes me very happy. And that's what the little basket looks like that it's gonna be in. It's like an iron type thing with some wood on it. Very, very nice. I decided to build it from the top down because I thought that was the hardest part and I'd try to get the hard part over first. 
and there it is. I will show it to you later when we do a walkthrough at the end, but this is a much closer look at how the whole thing was put together. Very handy. I have way more flowers than I do vegetables. <laughs> I got that beautiful wall hanging cabinet from a friend and I'm using that. And right now I just moved my computer over there because I got everything all over the place. So everything just keeps moving as I pick an area to specifically focus in on. I'm just doing it section by section and built another shelf. And now I'm trying my desk in the middle of the room and I'm gonna end up leaving it there because I really like that. Besides YouTube, Feel free to connect with me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Same name, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. I post all kinds of stuff on there behind the scenes and just what's going on in my day-to-day -day life. Hope to see you there. Welcome to my craft room. This is me standing at the door and this is my craft desk. And basically what it is is two shelves from Target that I put together and a piece of MDF board that I covered in contact paper and laid over the top. And then I've got all the storage underneath. And that's actually just another storage piece that's just sitting there for now because I don't have any wall space for it, but it's working for what I need for putting my iPad on it. So if I turn around here, I use every possible space for storage. So I've got a hanging rack from the Dollar Tree and then a shoe hanging thing. And I've just got storage in there, like all kinds of stuff is there. And then I've even got some containers stacked behind the door that have some supplies. And in this corner, this is where I keep large picture frames and things like that. This little stack here is thrift hauls, things that I am just waiting to use and also some other things that I happen to store there. And then I keep a TV right here so I can watch while I'm crafting if I wanna catch up on my shows or whatever. Now down here, I've got these drawers and there's paints and glues and all kinds of stuff down there, spray paints. And then in this cabinet, I've got all my chalk paints and acrylic paints and just a few other things in there and just little stacking shelves to keep them nice and organized. I've got a ring light right here. So that's kind of blocking over there. And then over here, I'll come to back to the desk in a second. Sorry, it's, a, it's not a big room, so it's a little cramped. But I, these are also shelves I got at Target that I assembled. And in each one of these cubbies, I've got different kinds of supplies. Now, I don't have little um, square bins to put in them yet, but eventually I am gonna get that so that it doesn't look quite so crazy. I've got everything from candles and baskets and napkins and tin things and glass things and I save cardboard and then more napkins and uh, brackets and I mean you name it coasters these are like random items that just I'd make things out of and I've got potpourri and little teapots and wood lots of wood and canvases and then these two containers right here is where I keep all of my signs, my blanks, and other things that I've bought at Dollar Tree. Here's some planters. Um, these are empty baskets that I've just consolidated. There's like mason jars and wreath material, you name it. I mean, I have so much stuff. This is where I store all my wood. So I've got shelves and pieces of wood. And then as I come up here, I just have different things. Some of them are DIYs I've made. Some are just supplies that I'm going to be using or thrift items I'm gonna use. And of course my little baby Yoda, it's so cute. Some pictures of my kids from my wedding and just some, there's a DIY that I made. There's something I'm gonna use eventually. And again, the wood that I mentioned before. So I've got paint stir sticks of all different sizes down here, shims, there's that toilet bowl, plunger. I've got Hot Wheel tracks, some um, really cool cathedral wood window. This is like a cloth, a wood round, some embroidery hoops, you name it. Everything is just kind of stored in that little corner over there. There's a thrifted piece that I'm gonna do something with. There's a little bit more thrifted items over there. Here's another closet door that I've got wreath forms on and also plastic bags for my trash can. <laughs> so I try not to waste anything but all different kinds of wreath forms and also some of those aluminum pans from the Dollar Tree. And then over here, I've got, well, that's a DIY on top. That's just a nice picture someone gave me. I'm still trying to sort through some stuff. There's some cardboard boxes in there that I use for different things, more storage. 
Uh, then this nice shelf back here has DIYs that I've done. And then this is my editing station and that's for acoustics. So when I do voiceovers, it, the sound is good. There's my dusty printer. <laughs> And then I'm running somebody's playlist right now who needs to get monetized. And then this is my desk where I do my editing. There's my planner right now. My tools are sitting there because I was hanging something. And um, my dogs have beds right here. And then one wants that pillow, but that's Bella. And they have to sit under my desk all the time. And then I've got another shelf that I still need to organize. And that's more like desk stuff. Okay. Here's another door. And again, more storage so hanging over the door hooks there's some lights hula hoops some foam there's my foam balls and floral foam type stuff in this red bag i have sticks twigs that kind of stuff from the yard and then as we come over here this is where i keep my like paper crafting supplies so i've got scrapbook paper um that's that are in books a notebook for scraps and larger scraps are right there doilies i've got all kinds of stickers and rub-ons there's smaller pieces of scrap of paper and then little uh, double-sided foam for sticking things. And then I've got stamping things down below, more cardboard because I use it a lot. Uh, down there are stencils and then I've got a bunch of tools down there right now. This is still a work in progress. It's, I, I think it's always going to be a work in progress, let's be honest. And then on this side of the desk, I've got all these containers. They're like little shoebox containers and they're all labeled with different kinds of things. The way I have them organized is like this says wood pieces, lights and candles, craft sticks, metal decor, beads and blocks, wood planks, and then down here balls, which I probably could move with those other ones. Um, but there's other kind of balls in there too. Scrap fabric, candlesticks, small containers, embellishments, or just random things, Jenga blocks. I've, these aren't labeled yet because they're new, but there's some miscellaneous things. There's tags down there. There's extra rope here. All my dowels are in this one. And then I have saran wrap right there because I use that for different things. Up here, I've got like a wood piece with these little clips on it on both sides. And I've got my little hats, which I'm gonna be making something coming up here with those. And then up here, I've got a laminator and then some gift bags I'm gonna use and some placemats I'm gonna use for some things. And then over here, I've got more stuff, a lot of my tools. So like my drill and my saw, just random things, a spray bottle of water, all of my little sanding blocks, extra glue, a staple gun. And then, isn't that cute? I found that at Home Goods, Live Your Best Life, similar to my channel. And then this is a fun story, if you haven't heard it, I was eating at a Chinese restaurant and they have these square paper tablecloth things. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that for my craft table. I wonder where they order them. So I asked and he told me and it was a supplier for restaurants. And then I told him what I wanted to use it for. And he came back and he said, hey, I have something you might be interested in. And he had this piece here, which is huge roll of like butcher paper on this bracket thing and he says I don't use this anymore we don't want to cut it would you like to buy it and I asked him oh maybe how much he said $15 so I got this for $15 I just pull off a piece cut it with the scissors and like I just did that right here and then you can see a nice white background for my filming isn't that cool and it's just right here so handy so that's that and then right here now I'm really close, sorry. I got this little container that a friend gave me and it was kind of drab and I painted it. And inside I have a lot of Cricut supplies. And so I can show you this. So I've got all kinds of Cricut Joy supplies that they've sent me and heat press and the mat and more tools and then the foam tape. And then in here I've got lots of different kind of glues. There's my ladybug vacuum and it's just nice and handy. It's right behind me and I can grab it and it's super convenient. And there's another hat and then there's lamb's ear that I just bought and garland. I just kind of decorated it until I use it all. And then I keep some paper towels handy. There's my Cricut Floor Air 2 right there, which I would, you know, move out a little bit if I need it. Down here, I've got scraps for vinyl. And then I've got vinyl transfer tape. Uh, there's my Cricut Joy down there. I've got um, ties right there, the plastic ties. I've got like scatter foam and things like that. And then my little Cricut mats, burlap lots of tools down there all kinds of tools and then i've got my white kills primer paint that i use all the time and then i've got lots of craft paper because that's what i like to finish my crafts with and here's that flower tower we talked about earlier so up there is all my fall flowers 
and then I get into kind of pre-fall with the sunflowers and stuff like that and then I got lots of greenery and then you come down and you're getting into like my spring flowers I keep my Christmas stuff back in my storage room and then I got all my succulents and floral wire and stuff like that down in this little basket or any little scrap and then I have lots of contact paper I've got these at Ikea and I haven't put them on the wall yet but you can literally stick your vinyl and contact paper right through those holes it's meant for holding plastic bags but I'm using it for this Got another one of these little drawer things where I keep extra supplies. And then this is the other piece of MDF that I covered in the contact paper and I put it over the top of these things. This is just an area where I can keep baskets with my next crafts. So I'm about to work on a couple of videos worth of crafts and this is all the supplies I'm going to be using for those. So they're ready to go for when I start. And there's my TV again. That's the view from my desk. And then I got this trash can off of Amazon. It is so cool. Literally, it folds into itself. It's got a little like ledge right here. I just hang it there. This holds the bag in and that way it's right next to me and I can throw my trash away. I also have ribbon. I haven't just, I'm still working on a ribbon thing, uh, something to hang on my ribbon, but for right now it's in that bag. And then I have other things, a, a rag and just lint roller, things like that right there. And then I've got my heat tool right here, plugged in, ready to go. Got my glue gun ready to go. I have this thing I got on Amazon where you can put your brushes. And this one, you can put water in here and it's got like this little thing on the bottom. You can clean your brushes. And then here, and different things, little tools. I keep some paint that I just recently have been using and adhesive and there's my alcohol for cleaning things. And then here's my decoupage, my uh, tight bond glue and paints and things that I use on a regular basis. And then this is, I use cardboard sometimes to dab paint if I'm dry brushing. There's my remote for my TV. Uh, my glue gun is sitting right here and I got this really cool um, silicone thing to set it on and then this is what I use so I don't burn myself a little silicone makeup spatula and then there is my iPad that I film with and basically I put it way up and then I bend it down and then I film my desk right here. So then here's my really cool chair that I ordered on Target and you can adjust the height there's a place to put your feet. That way I could have my desk a little bit higher. So I really like that. Then I have more tools hanging right here. This is where I keep my uh, tin snips, my crop dial um, This is a staple remover that's really cool. This is my miter shears, and this is a very large snip thing. And then I've got my square ruler, my brayer, a cutting mat, and everything right there. And then down here, more supplies. Sorry, there's just so much stuff. There's this, like a miter saw thing and just more supplies. And then when people send me things, there's like from plaid and then burlapfabric.com. And there's um, extra glue sticks. There's all my twine and rope that I reach for. There's extra paint brushes down there. So I try to keep everything super handy and convenient. And then, of course, my water. And then in this basket right here, I've got my Arteza paint markers. I've got tape, my little fingers for hot glue. I've got clamps from the Dollar Tree, scissors, a little nail file, a little cutting knife, a baby ruler, pen, you know, a staple remover, things like that that I just need right there. I keep baby wipes and napkins right here so that I can use those. And this I just need to put away, but these are my little furniture tacks. Here's my other ring light right there. So from my desk, this is the view. Here's my table. I roll around. There's my florals, my Cricut, more supplies, the TV, my working stuff. There's more storage that I already showed you guys. And the desk where I do my work. And that's that. It's a work in progress, but this is so much better than it used to be. And of course you've seen the before pictures already. So I hope that you get something good from this and that it helps you to organize your craft room. I know this has made a world of difference for me to just be organized like this. Oh, and there is Bella. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy that you were here and I can't wait to see you in my next video. I appreciate the time that you take to watch my videos. It means so much. And remember, you are a blessing to me.